Star Atlas is one of the most ambitious blockchain-based games in existence, and they've just made a couple of big announcements about the future of the project. The team announced a playable demo that demonstrates the super high quality experience made possible with Unreal Engine 5. It's nothing like we've seen before in Web3, but if you're new to all this, you're probably wondering, what is Star Atlas? Star Atlas is a space exploration game that takes place in the year 2620. When players sign up, they have to choose from one of three factions. The Oni are a federation of alien species, the Ooster are sentient androids, and the Mud are human space explorers. Each faction has its own perks and weaknesses. What is this place? Similar to the multiplayer game EVE Online, Blockchain ownership is the key feature that sets Star Atlas apart from all other photorealistic video games. This is going to change everything. When a player buys an item in Star Atlas, be it a weapon, a piece of land, an outfit, or a starship to help them navigate the metaverse, they own it outright. Property rights are secured via the Solana blockchain, and the Star Atlas developers cannot freeze a player's assets or confiscate their purchases. Once a player owns a piece of land, they can mine it or set up a farm. They can also erect buildings and charge taxes. Players can even use their land as collateral for a loan. A player's resources are represented as fungible tokens that can be bought and sold on secondary markets. Players can exchange other Solana-based currency for the Atlas token, or they can earn Atlas by completing in-game activities. One of the first activities available to Star Atlas players is to buy a starship and enlist it in a fleet to earn Atlas staking rewards. These Atlas rewards can be used in turn to resupply ships with food, ammunition, and fuel. So even though Star Atlas is a play-to-earn game, it's not exactly passive income since players must make an active effort to keep their fleet in good condition. In addition to the Atlas token, the Star Atlas DAO uses the Polis Governance token, Polis can be used to vote on major decisions about how the game is run, and what the game developers should work on in the future. Polis is also used on a regional level to vote for local laws and regulations in any given area. For example, players can use their Polis to vote on tax rates, to create toll fees for travelers. Players can also stake their Polis tokens to earn additional passive income. Well, while most metaverse platforms like Sandbox and Decentraland don't strive to be photorealistic, Star Atlas runs on the Unreal 5 gaming engine, which produces world-class graphics. The game also has its own economy, which runs on top of Solana, a hugely scalable blockchain with low fees that make it ideal for gaming applications. Star Atlas sets itself apart from what both traditional video games and current blockchain games have to offer. It's an ambitious project, and following the recent announcements, it's going to be fascinating to see if the game lives up to its interplanetary potential. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that the Atlas and Polis tokens are supported in Exodus, and you can access the Star Atlas universe from the Exodus Web3 wallet.